Hello, and thank you for watching the uh, demonstration here, our grading demonstration from Roush Media. My name is Keith Roush. I am the senior colorist, and I wanted to show you a live, real-time demonstration output from our Nakoda grading system. This was a short that we had done for NAB. It showed at NAB, and you probably had seen uh, the little link on YouTube, and I just want to show you a little bit of how it's done. So this is behind the scenes. This was shot on the F65 which is a 16-bit linear uh, image sensor camera that uh, records onto an MXF file that will allow us to then pull out like open EXR files. It could be ACES compatible or a more traditional log workflow gets you what they call a S-log, S-log2, and S-gamut. That's what this image is here. We have an S-log2, S-gamut image on the screen showing you what comes straight out of the camera. So now we have the LUT that we created here, which takes us from the S-Log into our digital cinema space, which in this case is uh, P3, I'm grading in a theater. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of how this is done. This is what the shot looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and deconstruct it for you. Let's take all of the grades off here. Once again, S-Log. Now this is S-Log conversion to P3 without any grading. And let's go ahead and first start our first grade. You'll see right away that we need to take this down in brightness. Uh, the exposure is a little bit warm or a little bit hot and uh, richness up a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, adjust the color temperature slightly and then go ahead and adjust the grade. This is our base grade and that will give us what this looks like here. Now you'll, you'll notice that this is a 4K output and it's playing here in real time. And we have our look which is a warmness, warmness up a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and start doing some work on her. So first of all, I need to go ahead and put a shape on her and track that shape through the scene, like so, with one of those track points. And then when you'll see that she's in this dark area here, I'll need to go ahead and lighten her up and just basically adjust the exposure just on her part of the image. And that's what we got there. And then we also are need to do um, some adjustment here. Let's go ahead and... Uh, knock this rock down a little bit. It's a little bit bright back there. I wanted to go and make it nice and rich. So let's go ahead and pull a shape on that to uh, richen that up. We also have a key with that. And now we have the rock, we have her, and we have all of our other aspects of things. And that's uh, kind of how we built this shot. You'll see it's nice, a little bit richer, a little bit warmer. Um, you can still see all the detail in the sky. Now, since these are open EXR files, they essentially have limitless dynamic range. You'll notice right away, if I go ahead and adjust this, uh, you know, quite bright, um, everything's gonna blow out the sky, but also the same thing too, I'll be able to then adjust and bring those back down and still preserve all the detail um, that's in the shot, okay? Um, I'm gonna take you on to our next shot. Uh, she's walking along the fence here and um, this is uh, only with our uh, LUT conversion on it. So you'll notice right away that with this is a pretty much, this is a pretty high dynamic range shot. It has uh, a lot of um, br uh, high brights in the sky and the clouds is really hot, um, even clipping out right now. And um, the, but it's not in the camera, okay, that way. Here is the actual raw image coming from the camera here uh, in S-Log2. And there is our LUT that we created for that. And then I go ahead and have uh, adjust the first base layer, get some exposure adjustment to lighten her up. You still notice that uh, the sky here is pretty hot and blown out. So we're gonna go ahead and take a, essentially a grad on the top half of the sky and uh, pull that back down. So you can get a nice, uh, you know, exposure for her and also pull the sky down. You're talking probably uh, maybe three or four stops or more um, uh, between her and the sky. Um, you also want to notice that uh, we'll need to go ahead and uh, pull some more color into the sky. Um, I wanted to go ahead and richen that blue and make it rich in color and separate them from the crowds a little bit more so I can go ahead and pull a nice key up here and Allow me to go ahead and then uh, make that sky a little bit richer. Uh, the, uh, the MXF files that are compressed from the camera do hold together remarkably well and are really clean to pull cle keys on, and that was something that was quite nice to see. Also, um, we'll need to go ahead and 
track her face here and uh, lighten it up so that we can get a little more light on her face here as well. So you'll notice that that's what we did with that. Let's move on to this shot right here. Um, you'll notice right away that uh, this is the S-Log. It looks kind of flat. We're going to go ahead and put on our LUT to grade this from S-Log to P3. That's what we are grading in our theater once again. And um, we're going to need to go ahead and do some work to uh, bring down hot parts of the image and bring up the other areas to, to be able to adjust the eye to where we want it to go. So first thing you'll notice is that uh, always start with a base grade. So we kind of get some things, just adjust the, uh, take out a little bit of that yellow, get a little, balance that image a little bit better. Um, then we're going to, uh, once we got our, our, our grades done, then we can start with some secondary work. So this does fall off the truck pretty nicely, but now we just need to start working our um, there are secondaries, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, work on these rocks that are nice and bright. So we're going to go ahead and uh, bring up a shape and uh, uh, go ahead and bring that shape up. And that makes it a little bit richer over here. And we can warm those up a bit more if we need to, um, or they're kind of falling in line right there. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is uh, realize that I want to draw your eye to her face. So we're going to throw a little bit extra light on her face and just make it pop a bit more. So um, let's uh, let's do that with a shape here. She does move in the shot. So we're going to need to track the shape through her, which is going to take a little bit of uh, a, a XY tracking as well as some scaling kind of follow on her. Okay. And go ahead and bring up some brightness in her face. Let's go ahead and get rid of those lines and just lighten her up. So there we go. We would take that down and lighten her up. There we go. And the next thing we're going to do is uh, let's maybe want to make that sky just a little bit richer up there. So we are going to pull a key. And maybe we should go ahead and use this as a grad. So we'll create a shape up here. And basically, it's a grad for the sky. And that will allow you to take the pop part of the image and uh, add some additional blue in there and just rich that up a little bit more. So um, there is our final shot. All right, so let's look at this shot right here. Um, one of the things I noticed that was quite remarkable about this uh, shot in the camera was that uh, we we're able to see into the depth of the bucket, yet um, preserve really the highlights uh, quite well um, uh, and, and control all those. So we can go ahead and uh, lighten up that bucket like so. Um, we can do our base grade there. Um, we're going to go ahead and do our overall grade there. And we need to lighten up her face a little bit right there with a shape. And you'll notice that what we're able to end up with is a bucket we can see into, but yet uh, a lot of detail everywhere else in the highlights that isn't lost anywhere. Nothing is clipping. Um, it's compressing the high dynamic range that the camera has been able to work with. And it works quite well. This shot's kind of interesting because um, it's a very simple shot, but we'll kind of show you a little bit how this is done. So this is our S-Log, and we're going to go ahead and show you how we build this from scratch. There's our um, LUT for S-Log, and then we're going to start with a little bit of a base grade here, just kind of uh, adjust our uh, color temperature and hue of the shot. Then we're going to go ahead and um, uh, use a little bit of our look here, lighten it up um, in the direction we want to go. And then we're going to need to do a little bit of secondary work here. We have this really bright hot spot up in this corner here when we did that, that uh, there's too much light coming from behind her that is distracting and kind of not looking so good. So we're going to go ahead and adjust that down because we have so much latitude. Uh, we're able to just go ahead and draw that up, shape up there and then bring that down all the way back into spec. Um, also, we're going to need to focus our eye where we want to go in this case. So we want uh, uh, the center of the image where the, where the, uh, the, the um, watch is to be a little bit brighter. And so first of all, I make sure that it's all, all the details there. Nothing's clipping. So we can kind of bring that into to, to spec there. 
and then we can go ahead and lighten up the whole thing just to kind of uh, vignette, so to speak, what's around it, darken the outer edges. And that gets you kind of a nice little looking shot here to insert on her fingers, and, and that works very well. That is the Joshua Tree uh, F65 4K piece that we graded, uh, once again in Open EXR uh, S-Log2. My name is Keith Roush. I'm the senior colorist here at Roush Media. Uh, if you have any questions or wanted to uh, contact us about anything, you're welcome to do so at uh, Keith, K-E-I-T-H, at Roush-Media.com. Once again, it's Keith at R-O-U-S-H-Media.com. Thank you very much for watching.